Hey, CLB, are you ready? Yeah. 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 Here's the news. Good morning, good afternoon, and good, good evening, CLB. Well, here's what's happening this week in the news. Hi, this is Jeff from the CLB News Team. And today I'm going to give you my Academy Award picks of 2024. The Academy Awards are on March the 10th. Here is my prediction of who should win. Actor in a leading role, Bradley Cooper, Mastero, or Cillian Murphy, Oppenhagen. Actor in a supporting role, Robert Downey Jr., Oppenheimer. Actress in a leading role, Emma Stone, Poor Thing. Actress in a supporting role, Emily Blunt, Oppenheimer. Animated feature film, Elemental, Peter Sohan, and Denise Ria. Director, Oppenheimer, um, Christopher Nolan, or Four Things Your Ghost Lent the Most. Movie Original Score, Oppenheimer, Ludwig Gore, and Goranson. Or, poor thing, Jerkin Ben Bendrix. Music original song. I'm I'm just Barbie. I'm just Ken. Sorry. From Barbie movie. Lyrics by Mark Ronson and Andrew Wyatt. The best picture nominees I picked are Barbie movie. Margot Robbie. David. Heyman, Oppenheimer, produced by Emma Thompson, and Poor Thing, produced by Emma Stone. Visual Effects, Mission Impossible, Death Reckoning, Part 1, Simon Coco. These are all my picks to maybe win an Academy Award on March 10th. For CLB News, this is Jeff Leach signing off. Hi everyone, I am Sarah with the CLB News Team, and here is Arthur's birthdays for all this week. So, we have Joe and March the 8th, then we got Joey K, March the 9th, Mike Truffle S, March the 10th, Michael, March the 10th, and March the 12th, Mike B, Mike B, March the 13th, Raymond, March the 15th, and not least, we got the Cook March the 16th. And here's all the CLB birthdays for this week. And now we are going into the famous birthdays for this week. So we got Sugar by BTS. His birthday is March the 9th. 9th. 1993 and that is Sugar and he is from South Korea band BTS and then we also have Alan V March the 18th then we have Val from Dancing with the Stars March the 24th and here's all the birthdays for this week. And please, please, 
Listen to Sega. Bye. BTS guy. He's so good. He do that and that. And I hope you like the song. And I am sad and I'm sad now. This is Alan Pratt from the CB News team. I'm going to talk about my comic book, Batman. This Batman is based on the on the cartoon episodes. The Vigor is the main bad guy in this book. He leaves clues for for Batman to solve. He is a solve it in in five minutes or a bomb will go off of Gotham City because he didn't want to blow up Gotham City but it's it's his home. So he has stop the rigor for that that thing happens and all the other bad guys who cause problems in Gotham City. He teamed up with uh, with Batgirl and and Robin to stop stop them before it's too late. They had to report to Commissioner Gordon for more more backup to where the bad guys hide out is. They have to ride real fast to stop them. This is Adam Pazit from the CV News Team signing off. Have a nice Batman everyone. Hey there, this is your weather with Dave, and this is what's happening this week. On Monday, March 4th, we're going to have some sun and clouds, and at night, more clouds. On Tuesday, March 5th, we're going to have some clouds, and at night, we're going to have rain. On Wednesday, March 6th, we're going to have some rain, and it's going to continue all the way through the night. On Thursday, March 7th, we're going to have some sun and clouds, and at night, more clouds. On Friday, March 8th, we're going to have some sun and clouds, and at night, some rain. Here's your weekend. On Saturday, March 9th, we're going to have some rain, and it's going to continue all the way through the night. On Sunday, March 10th, we're going to have some clouds and it's going to continue all the way through the night i'm officially on youtube check me out yeah. this has been your weather with dave remember stay safe yeah hi my name is tyler sharon i will be talking about the new actor that is going to be replacing daniel craig as james bond 007 his name is James Norton. He has five slash one odds for it to be 007. The original person that was, was winning before was Aaron Taylor Johnson, but he got bumped to third place. And James Norton caught up into first. So he's gonna play the James. He's gonna play the James, new James Bond. As it seems for the um, front runner uh, race for finding the actor. There's still time. There's still other actors. It can only be actors that are in their 30s. Let's hope he's gonna, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a good actor to replace Daniel Craig. And this is going to be the 26th anniversary for James Bond known as Bond 26. 
This is Tyler Sheeran signing off. The name's Bond. James Bond. Hi, uh, this is Adam Hari. I'll be talking about the um, Justin Randall Timberlake, born in 1981. American singer, songwriter, record, and after second often, he his deserved artistry and songwriter, showmanship, tenor, vocal range, and music production. He is the recipient of members of uh, awards and associate, uh, including the Grammy Awards and Primary Emmy Awards, three awards, Brit Awards, Billboard Music Awards, and Combination Icon Award, Songwriter Hall of Fame, and MTV Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award according to Billboard, Timberlake is the best performing male solo in the history of mainstream top 40. And the song is Cry Me a River, Sexy Back, and Rock Your Body. The new album is called Everything, Everything I, I Thought I Was. Our album coming out um, for this month. Justin Timberlake is touring this summer and coming to Toronto in October of this year. Adam Horry, signing off. Hello, CLB. I'm Chris Stafford, as you may know, and I'm with the CLB News team. Uh, today, I'm going to be reporting on two games that I got from the library today. I got Phoenix, uh, or sorry, Immortals Phoenix Rising. And I got Metroid Dread. So, focusing on Mortal Phoenix Rising first. This game is basically a mix of a three games in one. But it's Greek mythology. It's basically a poor man's Legend of Zelda to a poor man's um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and a poor man's Genshin Impact. Basically, you're playing as a, you're playing as a demigod known as Phoenix. And, and it's spelled like... It's spelled like this. F-E-N-Y-X. Basically, here's what happens is. If you watch the prologue of Immortals Phoenix Rising, there's a war going on with the gods in Greek mythology. There's titans that are that are threatening to invade Mount Olympus. Prometheus and Zeus are having a debate on who is whose god will win. This guy here, or girl if you choose the female avatar, basically proves to Zeus that he is the most powerful and there are there's there, there is eight gods in total and and eight goddesses in total your your job is in this game is to ta is tasked to gather all of the all of the artifacts to bring them to the hall of gods and you face this god known as Typhon <laughs> and if you guys know Greek mythology Typhon is basically the god of time that's basically that's basically this game here. Moving on to Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread is this game came out in 2021. This game is set in after the events of Metroid Other M and Metroid Fusion. And as you can tell, Samus is wearing her her fusion suit. And in the back, it says this. It says face your fears, just like you do in Metroid Fusion. And this game is considered scary. You're facing these. You're facing these monsters known as they're they're not Metroids. You're not facing Metroids in these games. You're facing these monsters known as they're Sentinels, and they're designed. And you find out later in the game that um, you find out later in the game that the main the main villain in this game he was the one that created them. They target Samus, and they and they basically have the ability to rip Samus's life, her life force from her. And her, to make her go into her zero suit form, and that's and basically when she is in her zero suit form, her very her ver bleh, I can't pronounce this word V A R I A. I think I, I believe that's how it's spelled. Varia or Varia or 
Barbaria. I believe that's how you pronounce it, if I'm not mistaken. This is only what protects her. She has a various suit, she has a power suit, and then she's got her fusion suit. And this is basically, this right here is her fusion suit. If you played any of the Metroid games, you know that Samus has known as energy. And the more energy has, the more her suit protects her. But the minute, that, the minute her energy depletes, she could possibly die. And if you guys played the original Metroid Prime game for the GameCube, if you deplete her energy, and I've done this on purpose to prove a point, and there's even a video which known as the dark side of, of Metroid, it basically shows her heart palpitating to the point where it explodes. And like, not literally explodes, but you get where I'm going with this, right? I've only seen YouTube walkthroughs of this game. They say this game is just as scary as, as Metroid Fusion. The reason why this game is just as scary as Metroid Fusion Mask is because the Sentinels in this game have, they're very, basically they can kill in Samus one hit if you're not careful. If you don't, if you don't have the power-ups to face them, uh, to face the Sentinels. So if you guys are Metroid friends, um, I highly suggest getting Metroid Dread. But rumor says it that there is a new Metroid Prime game going to be coming out for the Switch. <coughs> and that's going to be coming out on um, in uh, sometime in October. So um, I hope you guys have a good week. So until ne until two in two weeks, I will be talking about another Switch game that I got for Christmas. And I'll talk to you guys in two weeks. Peace. Thank you. Oh, I'll see you again next week. Bye.